Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 8 of Danganronpa 3 Despair Arc. Oh, wow. Wow. That is my favorite episode of the Despair Arc. This one right here, the episode 8. That has got to be my favorite, at least for like a more serious matter. Like, you know, the first two episodes are supposed to be funny and everything, and those are very funny, but as a more serious episode, this one. This one, definitely my favorite. Why? Well, <laughs> let's see. Lots of things happened. Uh, Nagato had a gun. <laughs> Gosh. And he got that gun overseas. He mentioned, and I'm like, but, okay, I'm not sure how he got from there to Japan, whatever, because he was stranded in the desert, and the plane was like, crap. Uh, I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. It he's back. That's the that's the good point. Okay. So, we did find out that Junko is going to use Ryota Mitsurai's anime to send people into despair, especially I'd assume the 77th class. Um yeah, some people theorized that and I was like, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, that is a thing that she's going to try to do. So, I was like, okay, makes sense that she would do that. Oh boy. Great. And uh, Mikan's already full of despair. She's all, yeah, she's good old Mikan. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, there were some very interesting scenes with Mikan. Look, I don't need to see that much of her boobs, okay? <laughs> Please stop. And uh, when Junko kicked her, I was like, thank you, <laughs> because I don't need to see this. Um, but anyway, that's enough fan service for one episode. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, with Mikan, you just. There you go. It's all the fan service you need. But anyway, uh, so, well, Kyosuke showed up. Oh, well, don't care. <laughs> I was like, okay, Kyosuke's here, cool. Uh, but anyway, so the main point of this episode was oh, obviously towards the end where Nagito Chiaki, you know, find the secret underground lair, I guess you want to call it, uh, where Junko... Um, Ryota and Izuru is also there, or he came in, I guess. Um, also, there was a scene, let me just uh, backtrack here. Uh, there was a scene where, like, when Junko was talking to Mitterai or Ryota, whatever, and she was explaining how she'll use the brainwashing technique, and Murukuro just came, like, out of the ceiling, and then, like, went back up, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Okay, that was weird. Let me just mention that, because that was weird. But, uh, oh, and also, we got to see uh, a Danganronpa Zero character who's very important, uh, um, y Yasuke Matsuda. Now, I've never read Danganronpa Zero, but I know a lot about it, so I was like, okay, there's the guy. Everybody's like, where's Yasuke? And I'm like, I don't care, but look, there he is. He happy now? <laughs> there he is. Maybe he'll get more screen time. Maybe he won't. Maybe, I don't know, because uh, Junko's supposed to turn into, like, I don't know, from Danganronpa Zero. I don't even know if that's going to happen in this anime. It might, it might not. We have, like, a few more episodes, so it could happen, at least in one episode, maybe. But anyway, so the meat of this episode, well, that is when Nagito, Chiaki, obviously meet Junko, and having Nagito and Junko talk made me go, this is weird because it's basically a weird version of hope talking to despair <laughs> like that was just weird to me because you never had that like, you never had per se them talk to each other because we always heard Nagito talk about how he loves and hates Junko but we never got them like interacting because obviously Junko's dead but or she should be <laughs> uh, or she should be um because the future arc but anyway uh so yeah, it was just really weird, and also, like, her calling him senpai and her calling him kohai, I was like, that's weird. But anyway, because I thought she would only call, well, then again, I guess she wouldn't only call Izuru senpai, but whatever. Um, she calls him that with, admi uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, uh, admiration? Admiration? Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> anyway, so, but then Izuru decides to step in. And because Nagito was about to shoot Junko, and when he does, Nagito has one of his moments. Um, I'm just gonna call it that, has one of his moments. Uh, and the moment that Chiaki saw Izuru, I'm like, she knows that's Hajime, she has to. And then, of course, I stayed for after the, uh, or I stayed really for the ending song, because I like the ending song, but of course there's always gonna be a after ending song scene, Usually with that type of stuff there is, and that's when Chiaki was like, Hinata-kun, right? And I was like, I knew it, she knew it, she knew. 
she knew that that was Hajime. Dang it, that, that's the scene that I never want it to happen, that her see ha Hajime as Izuru, because that just causes feels for me, because I shipped that, and, uh, and I was like, well, there it is, because I knew it was going to happen, I just didn't want it to happen, I'm like, great, now, here's the problem, though, uh, Chiaki's supposed to be dead, as far as I know, because uh, she's an AI program in Danganronpa 2, so... Is Junko gonna make Izuru kill her? Because that would be very despair inducing, not only for the audience, but also for Hajime. So, I don't know, because I'm pretty sure Junko noted, or, or is going to notice that, you know, Chiaki has a relationship with him, so she's gonna be like, oh, I can use this to my advantage. I can have him kill her, and then despair. <laughs> And yeah, so that might happen, that might not happen, and Chisa's coming down the stairs to the secret lair to hopefully save Chiaki, and Nagito's fine, he's fine, he's always, he's got, he's got his look, he's got his look, he's fine, um, but anyway, so she's gonna come down the stairs and maybe meet Junko, I think that'd be interesting to see, but I don't know though, cause Chisa, like, I don't know, I feel like... She, meeting, like, Chisa meeting Junko just feels like a weird thing to me. Hmm, I don't know, because would Chisa be a person who could fall in, ooh. Junko could use uh, Kyosuke against her somehow in some form of fashion, if she knows anything about Chisa at all, that is. Uh, with her super analytic abilities, you know, she will probably figure it out, but I don't know. So, what did you guys think of this episode? I very much enjoyed it. It's probably my, like I said, it's my favorite Despair arc episode uh, thus far. You know, who knows if we're gonna get a more, we're probably gonna get a way better episode than this, because now we're really getting into the, you know, Junko getting the 77th class falling into Despair thing, so now we're really getting into it. So, what'd you guys think of the episode? And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable, or JoJo Part 4 review, and Berserk 2016 anime series, whatever. So I'll see you guys in those reviews tomorrow. Bye!